I'm Lynn Coolish with CNT Publishing and this is Maltex. It's mulberry paper that's been laminated to a plastic backing, so you have the flat mulberry paper on one side and the shiny plastic on the other, giving you two very versatile surfaces to work with. It comes in a roll, it's 18 inches wide, and you get a yard and a half in each package. Now the best way for me to explain how you can use Maltex is for me to show you some examples. One of the great things about the Multex is that you can use both sides of it, either the shiny side, as you see in these beads, or both sides, as you see in the larger bead. Now, moving on, we also have a Multex butterfly, and this one is using most of the shiny side up, but it's been painted on the Multex paper side, so you get this really lovely translucent effect. And then we have a great neck piece that could be also worn as a little tiara that's made up of many flowers that have been die cut from the Maltex. Next is a lovely little book of painted Maltex. The inside you see the painted paper side and on the outside for the covers you see the painted side shining through the plastic side so you get a lovely translucent look. Then next to it we have a little collage that's mounted onto painted Maltex. The Maltex is easy to sew through and provides a really stable background. And last up we have this great quilt. It has a piece of Maltex that covers the entire surface. It's been stamped on with the bird and stitched through so you get this lovely multi-textural effect because you can see the fabric through the Maltex from underneath you have all the stitching on top and then the stamping. So I hope this gives you a good idea of just some of the things that you can do with Maltex. You can find it at your local craft store or quilt shop and if you can't find it there you can always get it online at ctpub.com.